Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a beer mug. And um, we're going to go ahead and uh, once we create that, we're going to create an STL file. We're going to open that in Rhino 7 and we're going to add a glass texture to it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go to File, New, Create a New Design. We'll go to Design and then we're going to go ahead and click the eye or Plan View. And we're going to make this around uh, 8 inches tall. So since we're working in millimeters, uh, we'll just go, just do out here. Mm, probably 20. And then we'll come up, I think, 203 roughly is 8 inches. Somewhere around there. Yeah, something like that. Let's go control plus. We're gonna have to make this a little wider. Let's go ahead and grab this move. We'll click on that. And then we'll move it over. Maybe like a total of 40. All right, there we go. Okay, what we're gonna do, um, gonna make the bottom taller uh, like a typical beer mug it's going to be a little bit thicker so we'll go to offset and we're going to drag this up maybe 30 millimeters we'll do like this <clears throat> then we're going to go ahead and add some uh, thickness to this so we're going to go ahead and click on that maybe make it seven millimeters thick I'm going to get our trim away <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to trim away these right here then we're going to get our create rounded corners I'm going to create a rounded corner here 14 we're going to leave that straight there and then we're going to get the line tool we're going to come over here go from end point to end point then we're going to create <clears throat> another um, line right here down to the bottom, endpoint to endpoint. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and uh, control plus. We'll zoom in. We're going to use our pan to pan down. And then we're going to get our create round a corner tool. We're going to put a little fillet in there. Maybe uh, three millimeters. Three. Okay, let's go control minus. <clears throat> let's pan up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and revolve this, but first we're going to put a uh, pattern in there for our, our beer handle grip. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and come inside of the beer mug. So we'll go ahead and click inside there. We'll drag out. Let's drag out 50 and then we're going to come down. Mm. Let's go 130 and then we'll drag over to the middle. Now escape to cl click off. Now we're going to put some rounded corners in there. And we're going to round them pretty good, maybe like 25 millimeters. <clears throat> 25 over on this side, 25. Okay, so this is going to be our shape that we're going to follow along. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go to the pull. Uh, we're going to pull that. Go ahead and get your revolve. We're going to revolve from here. And then we're going to do a full pull. All right. It's going to be our, our beer mug here. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the isometric view. Okay, now you're going to get the square tool. And then we're going to click right there until it's glowing. I think it I think it was right the first time. And then we're going to get our uh, define from center. And then we're going to go to the 3D mode. Let's, let's get select. I'm going to go ahead and I uh, just want that end part. Let's do control plus to zoom in. Go ahead and get your, there it is. 
We'll go to define from center and we're going to click right here. And then I'm going to make a, we're going to do a rectangle handle with a kind of round corner. So we're going to go 20 tab 20. Okay. We'll go click off of it here. And we just have to basically sweep this around because we're not going to change the size. So we're going to get the create rounded corners. Let's go five millimeters. We'll do five millimeters on all of this. Okay, so that's good there. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the 3D mode. We're going to click there and then we're going to go ahead and go to pull. And then we're going to grab this uh, sweep mode. And then we're going to click all of it and then go full pull. All right. And then we're going to get rid of this. We don't need that piece in the middle there. We'll get rid of it. So let's go ahead and go to the top view. So that's going to be our beer mug, but we're going to pull the handle down a little bit. So we'll go click on the solid there. We're going to go to move and we're just going to drag it down. So it's kind of centered a little bit right to there. Okay. All right. So now we've got this kind of a shape of a mug. Um, One thing I wanted to do is I wanted to add, add a little thick, thicker base to the bottom there. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, go to the bottom, go to plan view. Then I'm going to add uh, polygon, but we're going to do it to uh, see how many sides I want. I'd like to have eight sides. So we'll go tab, tab, punch in eight, and then we'll make this a little bit bigger. Let's go tab again there, eight, and then we're going to drag up so it's a little bit taller, 126 millimeters, eight sides. So we'll click there. Okay, now we're going to spin this. Now we're going to go ahead and pull. I want to pull this, both of these down here so it has kind of a, this kind of a base. Maybe a 20. Go ahead and spin this, see what it looks like. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, we'll go ahead and keep that. Now we're going to go ahead and click there. We're going to add a, go to pull, we'll add a little fillet in there so it's not a weak spot. We'll go two millimeter fillet, okay? All right, that's good. Now we're going to spin this. Uh, Let's go see if we can add fill it to this. No, it has to be pushed in a little more. Okay, we're going to keep it like this. So now we're going to go view for the top. All right, this is going to be our beer mug. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go to spin here so we take a look at it. There's your handle. Uh, what I might want to do, I see we might have to move the handle in there a little bit more. So we're going to go to the top view. And then we're going to come over here and click on solid to select just the handle. We're going to go to move. And then we're going to drag this in just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Make sure it's not sticking through the mug. It's not. So now we're going to go ahead and go to pull. Let's see if we can... Okay, that's going on the inside, so we'll have to leave it. Okay, so we're gonna um, just wondering. I'd like to do something different with this, with this shape here. So let's see. Let's see if we click on move and grab. Maybe. No, that's the wrong one. Undo. Do I want the red? Okay, that's just gonna look funky. All right. We'll leave it like that. So now we're going to go ahead and go to the top view. And then I'm going to go ahead and save it. We'll do a save to the desktop. We'll call this a mug. I'm going to go ahead and save. Now we need to save an STL, so we'll do save as. We'll change the file type here down to STL. Go mug there too. Save. Now we're going to go ahead and close this program. 
I'm going to drag the mug on top of the Rhino 7. I'm going to show you guys how to apply a uh, glass texture. So I'll go ahead and make sure it's millimeters. We'll click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and click there and we're going to double click on perspective because we're going to use that window. Now we're going to spin this. Now we're going to select everything. Hold down shift if you want to get multiple things. We're going to come over here to the materials. Then we're going to click this plus to add. And we're going to click the top one, which is import from material library. And we're going to come from glass. And then I'm going to make this a, uh, well, let's just go dark blue and see how that looks. Then we're going to right mouse click assign to objects. Then we're going to come over here to view. We're going to go down to ray trace. See what this looks like. This don't look too bad. So now what I'm going to do is come over here to the rendering. Click that. We're going to come over here to backdrop solid color. Make sure that's checked and we're going to click. Then I like to apply like maybe a, a gray color. Then we'll click OK. Now we'll just let this render a little bit. Maybe we'll change the angle a little bit. Okay, we'll go to about there. Keep in mind though, every time when you're in the ray trace window, every time you make a change or you change anything in the dialog box, you're restarting the trace. Now this has to go to a thousand uh, ray, ray cycles samples. So we'll just let it, I'm not going to go all the way to a thousand. I mean, this is a, I have a pretty fast computer, but we don't need to go to a thousand. This is probably going to look really good at 500. And then what we can't, what you can do also is you can add a, a sunlight if it's too dark, or you can add a skylight and take off the sun. Yeah, you can add any one of these shapes, and you can even put beer in here too if you wanted to. But I'm just going to show you guys how to actually make the the uh, beer mug. So we'll go. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll do the uh, sun. All right, once it gets to, if, I don't know, maybe uh, once it just looks good, it doesn't matter what number it's on. Okay, we'll go ahead and make a, a picture of it there. So I'm going to do on the keyboard, I'm going to do the Windows uh, symbol or logo, Shift plus S, so those three together, get you the snippet window, and then we're going to drag a marquee where we want to take the picture. Now we're going to go open up Paint, so we'll go to Paint. Then we're going to click right there in the center. We're going to do Control V on the keyboard to paste it. We're going to come up here to Crop. We're going to click Crop. And then we're going to do File, Save As. Make sure it's a JPEG. And then we're going to call, beer, call this uh, Beer Mug. And then we'll save it on the desktop. Go ahead and hit Save. And then we're going to close it. All right, so that's going to end today's tutorial on how to create a beer mug in Design Sparks Mechanical, Design Spark Mechanical, excuse me, and then how to color it in Rhino 7. And then now we'll go ahead and uh, close out the video. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got some useful uh, tips and tricks out of the video. And as always, thank you for watching.